Hi friends, Dr. Triya here. Welcome to another video where today we are going over the topic 1 gate disease. It is also known as a glycogen storage disease type 1 or glucose 6 phosphatase deficiency. It is an it is inherited a autosomal recessive disorder caused by deficiency of glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme and buildup of glycogen in the certain tissues, especially liver, kidney, and small intestines, impair their ability to function normally. In this disease, in the glycogen breakdown process, one of the key steps is, is to convert the glucose 6-phosphate into glucose and this is mediated by enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase and due to mutation in the gene that produces this particular enzyme will lead to faulty metabolism. And this disease results from mutation in the GPC gene on chromosome 17q21. The structure of glycogen will not change but it will increase in the amount and will get deposited in various organs. This. In the absence of this conversion, there will be reduced blood sugar which will lead to recurrent attacks of refractory hypoglycemia. There is increase in the glucose 6-phosphate and this substance will divert it towards the pathway which is known as a pentose phosphate pathway and this will form more amount of purine and this will get converted to uric acid, lead to hyperuricemia and gout-like changes. Glucose 6-phosphatase will be converted to pyruvate and in turn again it will form more amount of lactate and this will cause lactic acidosis will also be converted to acetyl CoA which is further converted to lipogenesis pathway and it will lead to increased amount of lipid and this will lead to hyperlipidemia in this disorder there will be hypoglycemia failure to thrive doll like faces within extremities lactic acidosis hyperlipidemia hepatorenomegaly but no or little splenomegaly short stature and xanthomas that is deposit of cholesterol beneath the skin. People with this disorder may experience delayed puberty, thinning of bones will lead to osteoporosis and arthritis due to hyperuricemia as well as renal disorders. Female with these conditions may also have abnormal development of the ovaries will lead to polycystic ovarian disorders. Affected individuals may also develop adenomas in the liver. Many individuals may suffer from recurrent infection due to neutropenia. GSD type 1 is diagnosed by lab tests that indicate low sugar, high lactate high uric acid, elevated triglyceride and elevated cholesterol. Molecular genetic testing for GT6PC and SLC37A4 gene is available to confirm the diagnosis. This can also be used for testing of carrier as well as prenatal diagnosis. The goal of the treatment in this disorder is to maintain blood sugar. Frequent feeds are essential. In infancy, overnight nasogastric drip feeding may be required to maintain blood sugar. Uncooked cornstarch based diet in older children. Medium chain triglyceride improve the growth. Lactose, sucrose and fructose should be restricted in the diet as they are also metabolized by the same enzyme. SE inhibitors like enalipril is in case of a microalbuminuria, early renal involvement responds very well to enalipril. In advanced disease, the mode of management would be liver transplant. It's a very simple slide to remember GSTs. Very poor carbohydrate affect muscle, heart, V for one gurk, P for Pompey, C for Coris, A for Anderson, M for muscle, and H for heart. We can also remember the enzyme in this slide. One GERC is having G, so it is glucose 6-phosphatase. Pompe is having M, so lysosomal alpha 1 for glucosidase. C, D, Coris and D branching. A, B, Anderson branching. M, M, McArdle muscle glycogen phosphorylase. And H for heart glycogen phosphorylase. So that's all about today's video. I hope you all understood and learned well. Please let me know what other topics you would like to learn from me. Till that time, take care of yourself. Study hard. Study smart. Bye.